The Revolutionary Black Panther Party or RBPP is a revolutionary pan-Africanist organization, advocating for black nationalism. The Revolutionary Black Panther Party, claims continuity of the Black Panther Party of the 1960s, as their leader Dr. Ali Muhammad M.S., Ph.D., M.D., title, Chief General in Command, was raised a member. In 1992 the RBPP was officially named and has been carrying on with its started aims of protecting and defending our people against genocide, ethnic cleansing, crimes against humanity, the black African holocaust and race war waged against people of African descent." Its stated, "...military mission," is to feed, clothe, shelter, train and defend the people. Currently, the RBPP has over 20 social and community programs throughout the United States and around the world e.g. Free breakfast programs, medical programs, health clinics, political education, schools, family stability programs, domestic violence prevention, substance abuse programs, child abuse programs, nutrition, community cleanup, self-defense and many other programs. The RBPP patterns itself as the party of action, proactivity and results, instead of rhetoric, rabble-rousing and sensationalism. Anti-terrorism The RBPP also state that they are not terrorists or extremists and indeed oppose terrorism, extremism, violence and crime on all fronts, no matter who is responsible. According to Ali Muhammad the Chief General in Command of the RBPP, "...we are against extremism and violence on all fronts." We do take a position of self-defense, but as victims of the worst terrorist attack in history, the Black African Holocaust, we could never support or engage in terrorism of any shape or form. We are against all forms of terrorism and extremism, and stand up for the human rights of black African people. Topic armed Black Marches Against Genocide and Terrorism The RBPP launched what they call the Armed Black Human Rights Movement and Armed Freedom Rides and did an Armed Human Rights March with machetes and rifles through the Central West End white community of St. Louis, Missouri, for what according to Ali Muhammad, was in honor of the humanity of black victims such as Mike Brown Jr., Alton Sterling, Angelo Brown and Darren Seals. Human Rights Tribunals The RBPP states that they are doing armed human rights marches and armed freedom rides throughout the country with human rights tribunals for people of African descent who are "...victims of genocide carried out by law enforcement." One of the RBPP's most recent armed marches was in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where the marched armed against genocide and terrorism. Dr. Muhammad, the leader of the RBPP, stated that the murders carried out against black people in America by police would be considered genocide in any other country. The Milwaukee march startled a few people because of certain expletives used by the RBPP that appeared racially toned, as they yelled, Free us or you die. Though they make it clear that they are not racist and stand up for all humanity, they state, We are not racist, we believe in human rights and humanity, but since black people suffer the hardest of all human beings, with an ongoing genocide, the black African holocaust, we must stand up for people of African descent, exclusively the hardest and strongest, and when we say free us or die, we are not inciting violence, we are speaking of being liberated from oppression and die as the result of an oppressor from us defending ourselves from violence or terrorism. The term dot can mean any person, race or color, it was a term used on the plantation by African slaves against people who cracked whips against them. We are not anti-police, or anti-law and order, we are anti-criminal, anti-terrorist and anti-genocide, an occupation doesn't make someone immune to the law, it is very hypocritical to not hold people accountable for crimes because of their occupation. $400 million lawsuit The RBPP is currently engaged in a $400 million lawsuit against the Milwaukee, Wisconsin Police Department, for attacking one of their food programs, illegally taking guns and hitting a little 10-year-old Black Panther cub in the mouth. The RBPP has food programs throughout the country, seven days a week and last year they fed 5 million people. <laughs> 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 
Topic: The Revolutionary Black Panther Party, same as 1960s. The RBPP considers itself the same Black Panther Party of the 1960s just dealing with today's standards of war, warfare, suffering and oppression. According to Muhammad, growing up a panther cub, there are things ingrained in you, that you can never get out of you, and it matures you, it is difficult to erase this maturity and as a fully grown panther, it lives on in the revolution, in the revolutionary Black Panther Party. 